Hey, good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. You know, it's been since January of 2014 since I've been doing Meaningful Mondays, and I haven't missed a week. Thank you. I'm so grateful for this because it's made me a better person. And thank you for joining me. I was sitting on an airplane recently next to a lady, a very interesting lady, so interesting. Let me tell you a little bit, we've talked for a long time, but let me just tell you a little bit about her history. Uh, where she grew up, she grew up with a very, very abusive father. She left home, she left school, she dropped out. She was on the streets till she was almost 20 years old. And in her early 20s, finally she woke up. She had this American, a miracle, you might call it. She was in such pain and she went and met with a chiropractor. Somebody set it up for her. And afterwards she felt wonderful and she was amazed at what he could do. And so she determined in that moment that she was gonna be a chiropractor. She didn't even have a high school education. So she made a great to-do list inspired by the vision of her future. So she started going it. She went back, got her GED. She got accepted to college. She did homework. She worked from home. She got it done. She went from there and she actually got a scholarship into one of the top chiropractic colleges in the nation. And she graduated top of her class. She was amazing. And then she really, you know, I don't know if you've ever sat on Southwest and you look at their napkins, but here's the Southwest napkin right at the top of it. It says, where do you want to go? Now, she didn't let me off the hook. She took that and slapped it down right in front of me and goes, where do you want to go? And I go, well, we're going to L.A. She goes, no, she would not let me get off that easy. She said, where do you really want to go? What's your vision of the future? Where is that out there for you? And man, she got into me. So I said, what, where do you want to go? So we had a great conversation. Then she flipped it over and says, now, here's what it says on the other side. What do you want to do when you get there? What do you want to do when you get there? And our conversation came back to, what are you going to do to get there? You see, life is full of important things to do. But if we let those to-dos fill up our lives, we may be missing something essential about what it means to be human. After all, as it's frequently said, we are human beings, not human doings. In other words, life is more about who we are becoming through our experiences not just what we're doing with our time. So while it's helpful to have a plan of what we're going to do each day, we might also consider what we're going to become each day. It's hard work. It's not just merely checking off a list of to-do items. It's getting the right to-do items on the list. It's using your choice and your ability to choose every second to be in control of yourself if you're going to become the divine individual you want to become. And you're fighting the tide. You're fighting uphill. Because in today's uphill, today's tide will drift you along to where you become more selfish. You become less kind, more rude, more contemptuous. Or just maybe you're not paying, you don't care. You know, but it's demanding work to organize yourself and look at each day. It's much easier to go with the flow, reacting without much thought to whatever comes your way. But that tide usually doesn't lead us to where we really want to go. So no matter how much we might need to accomplish, life was never meant to be a list of tasks. We're, we were created to become something greater than what we now are. And the things we choose to do can lift us up to that vision. This is what it means to be a human being. So how might we, the person, ask ourselves each day of this coming week, how can we at the end of the day be a little different from the person we were at the beginning in a positive way. What small step can I take today to move me closer to becoming an even better person in this world? If we all did that, imagine what the world would be like. So thank you to that doctor that sat next to me. I was her patient. I learned from her off this napkin on a Southwest airline flight. Have a meaningful week. I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye-bye.